Hello and welcome to a new presentation video of my Voxel engine. You may have seen that there happens to be a lot of time between the last presentation video and now because the job system and the ordering system I was working on was really a challenge and took way more time than I would have had expected. So yeah, there was a lot of issues and I wanted to be to have it um, asynchronous to not block the rendering thread and another thing it has to perform is actually being performant enough to work together with the 3d rendering crew which is very cr which, which is uh, very synchronous at all so there was just one part of the problem the moment problem was to make this all happen fluidly and working together with multiple thingies and working together with stockpiles and different zones so yes i think we have found a way currently which will work at least will work enough we still have a lot of bugs there um, and they may happen exactly during this video as well because i don't know but we will see so what did happen what is a chop so a chop is when i dig away a block i want the thingy to get assigned the chop to dig away the block which will drop a resource and um, the thingy will haul that resource over to appropriate stockpile. So one thing to do is just the job to dig something, like so. And the thing goes over there, digs the block, and we get a resource for this. So the next thing is we want to have a zone, like this. And the thingy picks up the resource, carries this to the stockpile and drops it there. Pretty cool. So let's dig something more like so. It's a bit tedious to watch one thingy dig away all these blocks, so we just spawn some more thingies over here. So there are now many, and they will all dig away the blocks I've issued to them and carry the resources over to the stockpile. So let's dig some more, like so. Let's dig this. Everything is fully at work, digging the blocks, carrying resources over, and as you can see this works pretty well. And another thing, I'm not very sure if I showed this in some previous video, but as we know, one thingy in this Voxel engine is actually higher than one block. So those are not gnomes, those are basically thingies with an appropriate uh, body high. So for them to go through some fields, they need two fields of height to move. So it would be a bit tedious to make the digging orders uh, one by one and switching around the layer fuse. So what we did is, what I did is, just stood like this. Well, we can just dig away two blocks at once. And if we issue this order, yeah, it's a bad example because there was actually just one block in high, but uh, we can do it over there. And I think we will encounter a bug yet now with um, falling resources, but let's see. Maybe I can explain the problem at all, which is uh, currently not fixed. They're currently working. Yep, there they work. And the red fields over there are basically jobs which can't be fulfilled because mainly, or most often, the thingy cannot reach it. Because those thingies can just traverse over ramps and plain fields, they cannot climb. So there, over there, the ledge, they just can't reach it. And because of that, there was an order created for the resource to pick up and then the resource fall down the order wasn't updated so this is the bug over here which uh, may be easy to fix hopefully didn't know exactly but yeah we will see it's, it's still a lot full of bugs so but the main thing is basically it works and it's more more a matter of bug fixing for all the stuff so how are supposed um, stock fixes to work, uh, stock fixes, stockpiles to work? The thing is we don't have currently any um, filters for thingy, so each thingy currently does do all jobs and the stockpile doesn't have filters, so the stockpile does just accept everything uh, in, no, uh, in no special order. It's just what's there will be filled. So we will just dig away more, maybe make it full. I don't know if that works out. Well, let's see. Everyone's busy. It's not yet full. Just, just make it full. I want a full stockpile. 
make it roll. Come on, work for me. Here we come. I'm just putting everything in the stockpile until it's full. It's not yet full. Well, it's still not full, but they refuse to fill the last field. I'm not sure why this happens, but I think it's because of those resources. Those may be eight resources and they actually reserve the space in this stockpile. So this is a bug. But, well, it's the first thing is a bug. The second one is as expected. Just make another stockpile and they will proceed with hauling the missing stuff. We have a render issue here. Yes, you see, it's, it's still full of bugs and I really spend a lot of time in the bug fixing for all those issues which arise. And yeah, that's why it takes so much time to for you to see another presentation video. What's this, what's one of the next things? So after all the bug fixing takes place, the next thing is to actually have orders to build something. In order to build something, we have several orders in place. For example, yes, we have an order to do something and we need the resources. So we need thingies to take the resources with them and carry them over to the workspace where it is and then do the actual building. And that will need a bit more work, I guess, because I will need to actually do the hard part in making all the user interface for it. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this will work out, but well, I'll just sometimes just start doing it and I will see what comes up. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will say this time we will not build the house because we build houses all the time. And I think the next house we will build will be doing with the job system and not doing, not doing it manually. So this time no house building and nothing. We can, we can do, yeah, make a night shot. We can do a night shot, as you see. It's night and we can still make some um, lamps over here. So this is still working. Just as you see, it's still cool and all and everything like this still works as expected.